Hi, today I want to show you how you can integrate Lemon Squeezy with Wist. Now, Wist doesn't have a native Lemon Squeezy integration, but I built a native integration that is available to all no code, pro code, all access members so that you can integrate Lemon Squeezy without writing a single line of code natively inside of your Wist and Webflow application. So before we start though, let's a little bit talk about what Lemon Squeezy is and how it can help you um, and how it is a better alternative than Stripe. And I use it to process all my payments too, so it's a great alternative. Because with Lemon Squeezy, they take care of the taxes. They take care of the remittance. So if you look about this here, let's say the customer pays $49 and they are processing the tax collection and then paying the taxes um, for that sale for you and then they pay you out after they paid the taxes. Now the benefit is you don't have to register for 50 different tax numbers to be compliant in every US state and you don't have to register for all the different states in Europe and all of that. So they take care of all of that. They have like multiple entities or something like that that handles that. I don't really know how it works. I just know it works and I don't have to file so many forms and have like a tax attorney in every country to help me figure things out. So this is why I use Lemon Squeeze and I, it's my favorite payment processing tool and they are owned by Stripe. So they are reliable and secure, but the big difference to Stripe is they take care of the taxes for you. And because they do so, they take 5% transaction fees and 50%. But keep in mind, how much would you pay if you hire a bookkeeper in every state that you're selling in? It'll be a little bit more. So I think it's a good deal and I happily, I happily take that deal. Uh, because I'm certainly saving a lot of money in using them. But uh, yeah, that was enough talking about Lemon Squeezy. Let's go to the integration. So, and oops, what's going here with Arc? Why do I? <laughs> I don't know why it's saying your mission possible just on the side here. We'll just ignore that for now. Um, but <laughs> let me, <laughs> does it? Okay, that, that seemed to fix it. <laughs> So what we want to do is we just want to have an empty Webflow project. And that's basically it. I'm going to go to uh, nocodeprocode.com. And this is something that is only available for members. But members don't need to set up anything. I built a whole SDK for Lemon Squeezy optimized for Wiz to natively integrate with it so that you don't have to write any code. So if you are a member, uh, you can just simply go to nocodeprocode.com and you click on the Webflow button here, you copied it, it's like Reloom, and you paste it in here, and it's working. And now we see we have even it with a nice loader. So when I now publish, now after I published it, it's going to load, and after I published it, it is, it, it should be working statically. So let's make sure it's deploying it to the CDN taking a little bit. Okay, here we go. Let's open this. And now as you can see, I have my loader and after the SDK successfully initialized and all the data has been dynamically set in the payment form here, uh, the loader disappears and I have a beautiful UX UI thing. Normally with my templates, you don't have that great of a UX UI because they're just made for videos. But with the membership, they are built for you to be just copied and pasted without having to customize anything. Sorry for the advertisement, but uh, <laughs> but if this is something that interests you and you like to save time, that may be a good solution. But you can take payments by cart and you can take payments by PayPal. This is how Lemon Squeezy works. This is also right now a test mode, so we can make a test payment. But let's close this. And now we're here, but now we want to link this to Wist because if I click in here and I go on the side panel, we see that we have this configuration element. And in this configuration element, I have a WIST attribute for lemon squeezy config. And we can use this in WIST to set HTML attributes for dynamic values and parameters. So the buy link, of course, we can hard code that in. If you don't have multiple products the user chooses from, we only have one here. So you can dynamically also set that. But 
right now I just have it hard coded. And then I have the email, the, the param email. And the cool thing is you can pass on any key value pair to the lemon squeezy API just by adding param minus. So you can do param minus organization ID, and then you can pass on that number dynamically and that will be then recognized. So let's say organization one, you add the attribute param minus organization one, and then organization one pays. Your backend will receive organization one has paid, and then you can check the box in your database to give access to organization one. Very important, and that is all pre-built. You don't have to worry about making sure, oh, now who paid? No, or like, wait a sec, uh, the wrong email paid, how do I know now who paid? You don't have to worry about that. This is all set in here. This is making sure that you know without them having to need to be able, maybe they have a different email for billing, right? So even if they enter a different email, you're still able to recognize who paid. And that's very important because most of the times when we develop stuff, we tend to overlook those things. And I made sure that I kept an eye on it uh, and it's all set up here. So we have that, but we want to have them dynamically. Let's actually, we can pass on a customer ID. We can keep that. So let's actually change this. Let's do param slash user ID. So I can pass on a user ID and I keep this empty so I can reset its attribute value. And the email, I want to keep that email empty so I can dynamically set those in WIST. So we have those attributes in here. And now this is all we need to do. Now we're connecting this with WIST and I'm, you could, you could also, if you don't want to use WIST, you could also use jQuery to change them in here and maybe tag that by the WIST attribute or change this to your own name. But right now I'm going to show you how to do this in WIST, but it also is fully compatible with jQuery. Uh, it, it is already pre-built to be like an easy plugin in, on top of jQuery. Um, but it's also built to work with WIST. I'm going to show you that. So, what we want to do is let's open the site here. Beautiful. And you see now I can type my email in there because nothing is set. I copy this and I go to WIST and I create a new project and I'm pasting my email in here. Uh, my, not my email. I'm pasting my, uh, my, uh, <laughs> my, my URL in here and I'm going to click on copy on the embed code. Here we go. And I'm going to go back to Webflow and I'm just going on the page and I'm just adding in the header that WIST embed code because I only need it on this page. Let me give you a tip. Only add the WIST embed code on the pages where you need WIST because WIST is charging you for every page that is loaded with this embed code. And if you add this in the global headings, it's going to be counting as a view every time a user goes on your landing page. If you don't need WIST on your landing page, don't pay for WIST being on your landing page. Only add it to the pages that you need so that you only pay for what you need. So here we go and we have that in here. So it seems like we have successfully integrated with WIST. So now I have that element in here and I go to WIST and I click on create project. Here we go, it's loading a little bit. And now we see this element here. So now I can go on X-ray mode and you see this here, the lemon squeezy config. I click on the lemon squeezy config and I'm going to go to set HTML attribute and I'm going to do param email. And I'm going to write, let's do return and let's do hey at example.com. Here we go. And now, as you can see, boom, let's close this param email. Let's reload. And now we should be able to have that email dynamically in here. Oh, I made a typo, email, param email, sorry. I added email. So now we see we have it dynamically updated in here. So please don't do typos in your attributes. <laughs> so we have param.email, as you can see here. And it's fully reactive. As you can see, if I change it to .co and I close it, it loads again and then it updates it immediately. So this SDK is already pre-built to be fully reactive without you having to write any code. But we can also base this on a variable. So if I have a variable called user user 
email, for example, and I have return hey at nocodeprocode.com. Here we go, nocodeprocode.com. And I reload, I have that variable value set in here. Um, I can just simply remove this hard coded string and just link this to my variable. And now, as you can see, it's reloading the SDK and it's updating to the email that is in my variable automatically pre filled. Then I can do the same thing with any key value pair. So I can go in here and I can go again to HTML attribute and I can pass on param minus, um, let's do param minus, um, what should we do? What do we had? I think we had user ID, right? So now I can add a variable for user ID and this can be dynamic. It should be probably but dynamic, but I can add, uh, Let's, let's, let's make something that looks like a real user ID. That looks like a user ID. Here we go. <laughs> so let's reload. And now this is added as hidden metadata. So I have that in here. I have that lemon squeezy config. And now I can write return and I can link it to my user ID. Here we go. So this is now fully dynamically added. As you can see here, user ID and we should have that user ID added as a param in this SDK. And now this is all I need and you can add as many as you want. You can add another HTML attribute for param organization ID, for example, and you can write return any number and you see the SDK is reinitializing and adding this data as hidden metadata on this payment. So when I pay, I'm going to get the user ID and this organization ID. And you can add as many IDs as you want. You can do a param and you can do a favorite color, right? And I can put in here return uh, green and I can pass on that hidden data and I will get that when the user does the payment that will be linked to the user account fully automatically. And as you can see, if I remove it, it's reinitializing because it's fully reactive and making sure that the SDK always updates as Wiz tries to communicate to it without using code, with only using attributes. This is a big thing. So let's remove this and it's going to initialize again and look how beautiful it looks. It even has like this little loading, loading sign. And this is all we need. We have this dynamic. So what I'm going to do, we're going to make a payment. So let's go here and let's put four, two, 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 four, two. Oh, actually four, two, uh, four, two, four, nine, and then four, two, four, two and cardholder name. Let's do uh, example and address, uh, 567. Here we go. Boom. It's a match immediately. <laughs> um, let's pay. Not now. And as you can see, it's processing the payment. It's loading. And now it was successfully paid. And now I can click on here and view my order. And as you can see, that order was paid. And I can click on generate invoice and I can, you know, generate myself a tax compliant invoice um, as the user. This is it. This is now fully compliant. And I can actually now go to my Lemon Squeezy account and actually, oops, that's a wrong account. Why don't I just make a cut here and I'm going to show you on the back end how we received that payment because I don't want to share my Lemon Squeezy password. <laughs> so as you can see, I have that order in here. It took the example email that was set in the card field and it got that in here. And here we go. We can look at that profile when it was generated, the monthly recurring revenue we're making, what card was used, what subscriptions are active, the email was passed on all dynamic. And if I would have subscribed to webhooks, I would get a webhook saying this user has successfully paid. And then it would say param 
user name, user ID, and it would add that ID because this happens in the webhooks. And if you want to know how to set up the webhooks, the snippet for the webhooks is also right now available to all No Code Pro Code members. And I will make a second video showing you how to use the pre built webhook snippet and how to connect it with there on Xano to make sure that you can capture the payment and then update your database for that specific user who paid, even if the user uses a different email without writing any code, super easy in just a few minutes. So thank you so much for watching. And if you want to get access to this, uh, please feel free to look into No Code Pro Code. Um, it's kind of like a wonderful thing where you get access to templates like this, you get access to beautiful code generation tools, and you know you can sign up here on nocodeprocode.com, and this is how the membership looks. You have like Lemon Squeezy Checkout for Wist, and you have like a streaming API builder for Wist, where you can build your own streaming APIs. Like if you use ChatGPT and you have like those typing, Wist doesn't support streaming APIs, so with this, you can build something without writing any code that goes on top of Wiz to make it support streaming APIs. We also have a reverse proxy tool where you can create a reverse proxy. Let's do HTTPS colon slash slash, oops, that's all caps, HTTPS colon slash slash hey.com. And I can go in here, I can allow param paths. This is cool when you use Wiz, you can use block slash one, two, three without having to use block slash question mark one, two, three. So you can allow param paths. And then if you use CMS pages, that would not work if you use a reverse proxy, but you can blacklist your CMS pages like slash block, and they will not be affected by this. So they continue working, which I have not seen any no code reverse proxy tool think about this. And then you can add custom files and paths in here to reroute, for example, to a different page. One is app.com and you can have like slash app to go to app dot. So in case you build in a different framework and then you export the code, you click on generate and here is the code for your Cloudflare worker that you can put on Cloudflare without writing any code connect your domain on there and you have a reverse proxy. And there's so much more templates. There's even like a Llama 3.1 streaming snippet for uh, for like Llama 3.1, the, no, the, no, the new AI streaming model from Meta, um, how you can run this yourself and self-host that whole streaming API in uh, Xano that right now is free to host. And they may change some things, but right now you can host it for free and run it for free, which is very cool. And, you know, we also then have like the same component here also for Toddle in case you are a toddler. You can clone that for Toddle, not just for Wist. So, and we have also office hours where we help you set those things up on a daily basis, five days during the week. So if you want to join, uh, if that's something that interests you, please feel free to go to nocodeprocode.com. And I would love... Uh, to see you in the community at $79 a month and you get weekly templates and components, custom JavaScript libraries, visual code generation tools. I try to add like one new tool every month that lets you do cool things like reverse proxy and you can upvote custom templates and you get daily support office hours. Because think about it like this, if you would pay $30 for a reverse proxy tool and then you pay like another $20 for this tool, that adds up to 79 quickly. So I wanna give you so much tools that joining is a no brainer because you're saving more than what you're paying on tools that you would otherwise pay. So that's a win-win for you and a win-win for me. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, if you would like to join, I would like to see you on there. Uh, but yeah, regardless, I'm still here to help also for free on this YouTube channel and I continue love doing that. So if you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments and I'm always here to help. Thank you so much. I really appreciate all your beautiful support. I just really appreciate every one of you. Thank you so much. You don't know how much this means to me and have a wonderful rest of your day and see you tomorrow. I'm back at daily videos. Bye-bye.